Hi friends. Um, so as you know, we're going through five weeks of interceding for Africa and America. And this week we're going to be um, interceding in particular about tribal conflict, which has caused excruciating pain across Africa. We don't have time to address all of the ways that it has hurt our African brothers and sisters, but I wanted to particularly to focus on Somalia today. It's on the far um, east of Africa, right on the coast there. So it's actually only a couple countries away from Uganda, where we're, uh, which is our main central location of operations. And um, I've been reading this book, uh, which I highly recommend. It's called The Insanity of God by Nick Ripkin. And you need to really brace yourself for this book. It's got a lot of hard, hard stories in it. But it talks about the brutality of the war in Somalia. And it's just over, well, it's over tribal conflict, you know, but it's also um, fully Islamic, minus a few Christians who, as soon as they are heard about, are shot and killed. Um, the the is the Muslims there in in Somalia are very militant, and um, the poverty is just unbelievable. When Nick writes about his um, humanitarian organization going in, and they would go through entire villages that had been totally forgotten about, village after village, where people had just died sitting at their table. Um, there were a couple girls. One girl was brushing her hair, and she had died. Her, she was. They, it's of starvation. They've died of starvation, um, because of the war. You know, the government has destroyed its own cities. Um, this is definitely an. Uh, this is Satan um, trying to destroy all of his children. Um, there was a story about how he, he came across this tiny, tiny little girl, and apparently she was three years old, but she was only um, like 12 pounds, and she was just sitting perfectly still in the hospital, just perfectly still, and he went and he touched her cheek, and this beautiful smile spread across her face, and but she didn't move. And when he walked by a few days, a few hours later, her bed was empty and she had passed away. Um, millions, millions of people have become refugees um, in this country. Hundreds of thousands of children have died. Needless deaths because there's just no food. There was drought and then they bombed their cities so there's no way to, to get food. Any humanitarian aid that was sent in by the UN, it was often confiscated um, or stolen. This country needs our intercession. It has been 20 years nearly of ongoing battle, just excruciating. The movie Black Hawk Down was um, based on the Battle of Mogadishu, which is the capital of Somalia. You guys, my heart aches. Um, they need the light of Jesus' love in that country. So many innocent people are suffering. And I say innocent, meaning they are just trying to take care of their families. Um, and they are desperate to tell their stories for someone to recognize their humanity. Because for so long, it's just been survival. There was a story about how... Um, these government trucks came into a village, um, a larger village, and Nick was so happy that they were finally giving aid to their people. And then he just became so repelled because it was drugs. They had brought these medicinal drugs from the hills that they were um, trading to the townspeople um, so they could forget about how hungry they were. So people would bring their stereos and whatever they had left in there just to chew some of these plants to forget the pain they were in. You guys, we really need to pray for Somalia this week. But I also want to charge us to pray for America. And just 
you know, these things are caused by allowing hatred into our hearts. You know, and hatred makes our hearts cold. And I want us to pray for the Church of America that the Lord would reveal any any place that hatred has caused division in our in our continent, North America, I'm going to say because I'm Canadian. But we we all need to reflect this week on how we have maybe given Satan a foothold in our lives and caused hatred to make decisions just even towards our neighbors, towards other races, towards other people groups, ethnic groups, towards other social classes. It starts with just allowing hatred into our, our hearts. And I want to challenge us to read and reflect on Philippians 2. Therefore, if any of you have encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tender, tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in Spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Can you imagine how our world would change if we, if we did that? 